Hey guys, here are Stu and to review the Leaping Leg Blade Marvel Superheroes Black Panther Rhino Face Off by the Mind. So, this is the box itself right here, and as you can see, it's recommended for just 6 and up, and this is set. 07100 and comes with 257 pieces and comes with three minifigs. And the minifigs are Black Panther, Okoye, and Killmonger. And they spelled uh, Okoye wrong, so that's embarrassing. But the front box art here is pretty cool. You have the Black Panther art kind of thing at the side. So this is the top right here. Does have a handle and you have the actual size of Black Panther. So this is the side. You have this Black Panther right here. And this is the other side, which you have the uh, front box art. And this is the bottom. And finally, this is the back. Um, so it shows you all of the features and yeah, um, you have this sticker right here. But aside from that, that's um, pretty much it for the box. And inside the box does come with a crate. So this is the instruction manual right here and um, it's a pretty simple instruction manual. This is the first page. This is the final page. And this is the back. There's no ads or anything like that. But it's just this very nice back box art. But um, aside from that, that's pretty much it for the instructions. So uh, these are the extra pieces right here. And as you can see, they do not include any extra pieces aside from these extra studs for the stud shooter. And um, I'm pretty sure this is an error or a mistake because they included an extra sticker sheet. So yeah, I guess it's nice to get it, but yeah, aside from that, that's pretty much it. So the first main figure right here is Black Panther. So the hip piece right here, he does have the top hat piece, uh, which is definitely nice that they made the mold. And the face paint right here, you have the mask with the blue eyes and the all power up um, suit. And you know, you have the necklace on the torso right here, and you have the suit detailing with all the kinetic energy that's uh, absorbed by the suit and this is the back hair printing looks really cool it does have some very nice design and this is the back torso print looks really cool as well you have the back of the necklace and the suit detailing with uh, the kinetic energy absorb thingy so yeah and the second minifig right here is Okoye so she's armed with uh, her spear right here which is a very common piece and her face print is uh, this determined face and the torso print you have her necklace you have her Dora Milaje uh, outfit you know you have the this belt right here with some I guess utility stuff and yeah the outfit here looks pretty nice and this is the back torso print. No back hair print thing for her though. But yeah, you know, you have the belt and you have this outfit design, which looks pretty nice. And you have this black line in the middle. So yeah. Last but not least, this is Killmonger. So his uh, hair printing right here, you have the yellow eyes with the mask and stuff like that. And you have the this kind of covered up mouth. And the torso print, you have the necklace. Uh, the gold necklace and you have the six pack you have the all the gold detailings and there's no leg printing for him and this is the back head and torso printing and the head printing here does have some very nice design and same for the torso print as well it's nicely done so yeah and they also made the top hat piece uh, just like the one for Black Panther so yeah but aside from that that's um, pretty much it so these are all of the builds right here so let's start with the rhino so for the rhino itself right here let's start with the head so the head uh, in the middle you have the two horns right here and you have all of the armor plating for the rhino you have the stickers and they do look pretty nice 
you have the eyes and they look a little bit weird not sure if they are covered up by the armor or uh, something else I'm not really sure but you have the ears right here represented by these uh, new one by one modified piece and uh, you can rotate the head around and this is and this is how the bottom looks like you know pretty nice that they filled it up with this kind of inverted towel piece you can move it up and down as well so that's nice and for the legs um, they made the mold for the legs which is great and you can move it around as well and it does have a sticker right here which I believe is a armor plating and you have another sticker right here and you have this sticker in the middle and you have uh, some tubing right here so that's cool and this is the back um, I guess this is its tail I'm not sure if rhinos have tails or not but yeah it's just this silver color piece and this is the other side is the exact same and on the rhino here um, you know you have uh, two seats for two mafix and you have this handlebar right here which the rider can hold on to and uh, here it does have another sticker and you have two of these stud shooters which yeah they are nicely placed uh, and this one kind of fires and this one doesn't um, and they do include extra studs just like I showed you just uh, before so yeah does have uh, some crunch do some blue pieces and yeah this is the bottom but aside from that that's um, pretty much it so the second and the third build right here is the crack and the minecart build so let's start with the crack so let's start with this part um, so you have this kind of vibranium ore kind of part I guess maybe but yeah uh, and also the crack here is kind of flexing if I press on this main part you can see uh, it's kind of angling so that does kind of suck I'm not sure if this also happened with the original Lego version of the cracks but yeah it's nice that they uh, made the mold for the roller coaster cracks and yeah it's pretty cool and you have this support in the middle and uh, this main part right here you have a lot of these uh, cheese slope and yeah they do look pretty nice you have a lot of these translucent pieces a lot of uh, this kind of blue color and you have this play feature right here which you can tip over the minecart and send the um, vibranium nuggets flying just by uh, pushing this so yeah um, and you can put the minecart on the crack and yeah um, it does kind of work but the wheels the this minecart wheel doesn't really move because it's just way too tight but yeah it's uh, definitely great as well that they made the mold for the wheels uh, some of these they do kind of move they are a little bit looser but yeah um, so the front part here you have this headlight I guess and you have this kind of mode which is uh, which I believe is also new that came out with the roller coaster piece so you can kind of move this down uh, to review this basket tough thing so yeah and you can hold it in place by just pushing them in and yeah they are just on clips and the other side is also the same uh, they are the same on both sides and this part you can kind of move it around and you can pour the vibranium nuggets out if you want to but the vibranium nuggets they are just represented by these um, by two uh, translucent blue pieces so uh, there's three of them and there's no extra for them and uh, it's on this kind of piece right here this translucent blue piece so that's cool but aside from that that's really it and lastly this is how the play feature works um just move the this cart to this area here and you just push on this and the cart kind of uh tips over so yeah uh, and also when you're moving the cart if you hold the middle here you can if you turn it uh, if you kind of move it around uh, these uh, supports right here they will uh, come off they, they, they will kind of move out of position so that does kind of suck that they don't really hold it uh, hold 
this thing in place that well so yeah but um that's pretty much it for the play feature i guess so overall conclusion of this set here so how do i think of it well the figures themselves i think they are great they are printed very nicely and yeah there's um nothing wrong with them and nothing really interesting to talk about them except that uh okoye her legs here they kind of move um you know they kind of come off very easily so that kind of sucks but yeah um aside from that there's nothing else to talk about the minifigs and for the builds i think they are great they work pretty nicely the only problem i have is with the minecart wheels they don't really move they are just way too tight but aside from that i think the builds they are great the sticker quality is pretty good and this play feature kind of works and it's also great that they made all of the modes and they did not skip out on any of them so yeah overall i think this is a great set and if you cannot afford the original black panther set or if you missed out on the original set then i definitely recommend you getting this one because it's a really cool set and it's uh, really nicely done so Buy links for a set here down in the description box below along with all my social media pages down in the description. So if you like my channel, make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here. So that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. And